As a new trading week prepares to kick off right here in the United States, investors are all wondering what direction will the markets be moving in. And last week, well, saw its fair share of ups and downs. But this week ahead, we've got a lot to discuss. We have monthly jobs figures and central bank rate decisions, just to name a few. So let's not keep us waiting any further. And let's take a look at what will likely move the markets in the week ahead. Monday kicks off right here in the United States with April ISM manufacturing PMI expectations calling for a rate of 47. Tuesday sees a start in Australia with the RBA interest rate decision, a rate that currently sits at 3.6%. While in the EU, April preliminary core harmonized consumer price is expected at 5.9%. Wednesday begins in New Zealand, the RBNZ first quarter unemployment on the docket. Expectations call for a rate of 3.3%, but all attention will be on the U.S. April private payrolls kick off the session with an expected rate of 46,000, while the U.S. Federal Reserve interest rate decision also due out. Expectations call for another rise, this time by 25 basis points to five and a quarter percent. Thursday sees us first in China with the Kaishin Manufacturing PMI read due out. Expectations call for a read of 50.8 for the month of April. This while in the EU, the ECB monetary policy decision awaits. A deposit rate that currently sits 3%. And then on Friday, first in the European Union, EU retail sales for April await. Expectations calling for a read of negative 1.5. But all focus will be on the U.S. with a monthly employment report. First, April non-farm payrolls await with expectations calling for a read of 181,000. And the U.S. unemployment rate calls for an unexpected read of three and a half percent. Keep in mind the U.S. earnings season remains in focus and has been a major market mover as of as of late last week in particular. So keep an eye on all of those and until next week reporting live for the New York Stock Exchange. I'm James Sweeney reporting for ICM.